Hey guys, BJJ Library Lovers, Saulo Ribeiro here. We're here with one of the Young Promise Champions, Yuri Simões. It's a great pleasure to have you here. This is sponsored by Old School Gi, Back to the Roots. And uh, we're so proud of having Yuri here because not only as a tough competitor, as a person, as somebody that we really admire from the new generation, a pleasure to have you here, my brother. Thank you. Awesome Thank to you have you same. share your knowledge with our camera. Oh, I stoke about the private that they just had with you. And uh, I cannot look at you and don't remember one of my first training partners, my big influence, Maurição, the one, the guy that taught me Jiu Jitsu yes. the most. What would you say you say was the biggest influence in your Jiu Jitsu from him? Uh, Maurição was like, a, he was like a Second, like my father, I always had my mom and my father when he was always like a second father because I spent a lot of time in academy there with him. He was also like telling me, like mentor me in and outside of the mat. So he was a big influence, not just in my jiu but in my life. Yeah. Uh, very, uh, you know, a great person. Everybody that knew him, you know, would say that, would confirm that he's a very nice guy, a big heart. And we you know a fatality happened to him. and. Nobody knows these things, how it, you know, it just happens sometimes, yeah, but it's life. it's life, but, uh, you know, definitely made me be here. It's part of what I am today, for sure. And this black belt, I own also a big part to him. You know, it was the biggest, one of the biggest influence in my, in my jiu-jitsu, for sure. Who would you say, because uh, Ricardo Vieira gave the black belt, right? Yes. Who was that mold your jiu-jitsu the most? Who was the guys, if he's not uh, uh, Ricardo, if he's not, who, who you copy, who you think that is your fingerprint, your jiu-jitsu? Uh, I, I think like my jiu-jitsu, you know, as I started with Maurição, it was Maurição and Silvio Betting. And, you know, I was more in the class, like the, they taught separated class, and I was more in the group of Maurição, mm -hmm. training that group, and then, when he passed away, you know, it was very shocking. I was young, and and then like I followed up my my brothers. With, they went to Ricardo Vieira mm -hmm. to train, and I, I trained. Then I had a great like in Morrison, I had the base. I believe I had the base of my jiu-jitsu. I learned the self-defense. I learned the basic move like hip escape, like all the, the cross choke, close guard, all the the basic moves and the base of jiu-jitsu. I learned with him. I, I believe when when I went to Ricardo, I had the the training partners and you know the competition mindset, which I didn't have a lot because there was not many competitors where I came from. So over there, I got more the part of like that uh, training camp kind of like uh, mentality, and I, I that was pretty much the 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 philosophy there it was focus on the competition. And once I, I got my black belt, you know, uh, after a while. Some things didn't went the way, the way I wanted, you know, with certain uh, ca characters or pe people there. Uh, but uh, still have a lot of friends there. Moved on to Kyle, and since then, I think that was the, you know, the may the final and the beginning of the, like a new sharp, new mode on, on my jiu-jitsu, on like on the details and uh, a lot of what I am today also on. To Kyle, even though it's short, such a short time, I have uh, learned a lot from him. Yeah, Kyle is a rooster the deal, right? Yes. So, who is the guys that push you to train because you are a super heavy guy? So Correct. Who are the guys that are your training partners and say, man, whoa, this is a war? Yeah. What kind of training you do since you, the guy that guides you is so light? Correct. Well, and that's it, that's one of the things that also I think adds on my game the the, the speed and uh, his game this, uh, the difference on the game because it's like you said lighter. It also adds a lot on my game. And then I always like in there we always have like like guys on my body type with the purple and the brown belt uh, close to camps like one two months. There was uh, guys from Brazil like uh, Tatuapu Comprido guys are my weight like my frame and. You know, to give that final sharp two, three months before, like more my body weight. But there is a lot of people my weight on the lower belts there. And I have, uh, and Kyle's like, uh, he studies Jiu Jitsu too, so 
he, he, he surely fights in the, in the lightweights, but he did a lot of open weights, so he knows how heavyweights, you know, uh, behave on the mats, like their, their game and stuff like that. So he understands a lot of my opponents. Too. So the whole thing, you know, helps me out and it's, it's helping me to visualize it in a way that I didn't see before. You, you top of the food chain, a gi and a gi and no gi. Which one are you more comfortable? Which one you think, oh, I got a better chance with this guy, no gi, gi? One is just all like, I really don't have that, uh, like a prior, like I don't choose one. I, I enjoy, like 100% being honest now, I enjoy both the same way. I like uh, no gi and I like gi. Sometimes we train in a lot, a long time gi, and then you see some no gi competition, and you get excited and you get that focus to train more no gi. And I train like, more no gi some, for, for some like seasons, some season more the gi. But honestly, I, I, I think like, I always train no gi and gi since I started in Jiu Jitsu, so I feel very comfortable. And that's the thing, the good quality of, of the G Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighters, you can Definitely. train in the gi and then no gi and feel comfortable both ways, which is people who just train the no gi, Definitely. they're gonna train the gi, they're gonna struggle. Definitely. Your father was one of the first guy that introduced you to Jiu Jitsu. Is he a black belt today? He's a brown belt. And I, and I give him- a brown belt? The brown belt and I give What's him- What's going on? No, What's I, your dad's name? Marcio. Mr. Marcio, what's going on? Yeah. You don't want <laughs> to finish the course? That's actually going to be a big, big so push for him. So now he's a student. You, yeah. He's your student Yeah, now, he's right? my student. I give him jokes a lot about that. And actually your also biggest, uh, one uh, big influence for him, because uh, when he we were young, uh, when I was young, and I was, like, I was learning from him, he used to be like the fights in the sport TV, and you were yeah. fighting yeah. Fabio Gugel, you know, Margarida, all these yeah. fights, and I used to watch with him and watch, uh, read the great, the Tatami magazine, or like all the magazines that back then. And it was really good to have that uh, example. Well. And like now you're tell, telling him, you telling for sure he's gonna be motivated. I'm gonna give is him even more English? joke is now. Is he speaking English or no? No, but I'll translate that. Diretor, faz favor, pega a faixa preta, né? Isso é uma vergonha, né? Teu filhão aqui campeão. Poor rapaz. <laughs> no, he's gonna come back. He's busy now with work and like another life, but he's gonna come back to the to the warrior mindset. <laughs> so you are full-time uh, professional athlete. You travel for seminar and uh, do you teach today? Do you uh, teach? Yes, Kyle? I teach once a day in Kyle. Uh, I teach uh, mostly not close to the to bigger tournaments when it's like uh, uh, near the training camps. I try to focus only on my training and my preparation, but. I do teach and I enjoy teaching. You know, a lot of people, some people just like to teach, some people just like to train. You know, I lo I'm lucky that I like, if I enjoy, I really enjoy my time doing both. Yeah, because today you, t you teach at Kyle's Academy, right? Correct. So are you able to make your living teaching Jiu Jitsu or you need to travel for seminar? You need no, to no. have the sponsors? You know, today uh, definitely like I can make my living out there teaching, you know, that's why I moved to America. You know, because uh, a lot more opportunities here, you know, than in our country, Jiu Jitsu, you know. So that's one of the reasons I moved as well, besides the, his uh, uh, instructions and the training there, also to be able to teach and live off Jiu Jitsu. But at seminars, you know, whenever can I go and I travel and I do seminars and I enjoy that as well. Teaching so is if good. Uh, somebody want to schedule a seminar or a private class, how do you contact you? You can contact me on my Facebook through email, my Facebook page. What's the email? Uh, Yuri, Simo Yuri Costa Simões at gmail.com. Perfect. Then I get in contact with you. Any other plans? What's next? The world just passed. I know that's a little frustration, but that's the way it is. You know, it's not a fair sport. Everybody's qualified to win, but sometimes doesn't go away doesn't mean we are less qualified it's just about keeping the hard work keeping the positive thoughts and your time is coming i have no idea about what's next thank you <laughs> yeah. so thank we're you gonna try. see you at american nationals yes I, i'm thinking i'm gonna fight even before then uh in the bay area maybe two weeks from now and american nationals and anything i can fight i'm gonna be there fighting and 
ADCC, if there is a guy that needs an invitation that is qualified for that, it's this guy here. Thank you. Wrestling, <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu, and all the nine yards. That's a plus for the division. Thank you. forward to see you there. I would and love to best. fight there. Yeah, I it would be that. a dream coming true. I'm Thank with you, you all the way. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome.